Ever needed a simple yet effective way to capture user signatures directly in your Flutter app? Whether it's for contracts, receipts, or any form requiring a sign-off, the Flutter Signature Package offers a flexible solution. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a seamless and professional signature pad in your application. So let's get started. First, we need to add our signature package. For that, we will go to pubspec.yaml file, and here we will add our signature package. Also, add the permission handler and image gallery saver to save signatures to the gallery. Next, add the necessary permissions for iOS devices in the info.p list file inside the iOS runner directory. And in the Android manifest.xml file inside Android app source main directory for Android devices. In the scaffold, let's include an app bar and a column centered within the body. In the column, let's place a signature widget from Flutter's signature package as the first child. The widget requires a controller parameter, while properties like background color, dynamic pressure supported, width, and height are optional. Let's set the controller to the controller variable and create this controller variable here. The signature controller offers various properties like you can see here. Let's set the pen color to white, pen stroke width to three, export pen color to red, and export background color to black. Also, don't forget to dispose of the controller when done. Within the signature widget, specify a height of 200 and a width of infinity with a background color of black. Let's set up a row containing elevated buttons for undo, clear, and redo actions in the signature controller. Each button is linked to its respective method. Next, create another row where the controller converts to PNG bytes and saves it to the signature variable. Define the signature variable above the controller, specifying it as an 8-bit unsigned integers list. If the signature is not null, display the image in the column using Flutter's image.memory method. In the row, add another elevated button as the second child. Within its onPressed parameter, convert the controller to PNG bytes and save it to the signature parameter. If the signature is not null, prompt the user for storage permission using the permission handler package. Let's save the image using the save image method from the image gallery saver package class. If successful, display the signature saved text in the snack bar and clear the controller also. Now our signature pad functionality in our Flutter app has been completed. We can undo, clear, and redo with these three buttons. We can also save this signature and show below, or we can also export it in the gallery. We can see the exported signature in the gallery here. So this is how we can create a seamless and professional signature pad for contracts, receipts, or any form requiring a sign-off. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome Flutter content. Happy coding, and I'll see you again in the next video.